Hey, Oracle, and yes, it's just for Oracle, right? And the reason is, I've done so much work with you folks that I want to at least give you a little tip here on how to overcome an objection. So first off, you're probably going, well, that's pretty cool, what's that? And this would be your common objection that you're probably most of you are hearing. With all the, the work that we've done together, um, obviously with me making a lot of live phone calls, we hear this a lot, right? Hey, listen, you hear the customer going, hey, we're already happy. Uh, hey, you guys are too big for us. Uh, how about this? Maybe had some challenges in the past. Uh, how about this? Oh my gosh, please stop calling. You have so many reps calling. It's probably a common one you guys get. Or how about this one? Hey, you're just too expensive, right? So these are probably the common ones that Oracle usually gets, right? And um, one of the things that we hopefully were able to do is help you to overcome those. There's a lot of different ways to do that. The one thing I just wanted to focus on very quickly in a, in a minute here was this. The first step you have to do is number one, you just have to agree and acknowledge and or acknowledge, okay? N-O-W-L-E-D-G-E, -E. make sure I spell that right. Agree and acknowledge. So you hear what happened. When the, if here's the customer, here's the customer right now, okay? When they give you an objection, okay, chances are this wall is up. For example, what if somebody were to say, hey, you're too expensive. Um, uh, most reps, or let's pretend, let's pretend a customer were to say to you, hey, listen, appreciate the call, but we're just, uh, we're, we're, you're probably not at a point where we can actually talk with you guys yet, or whatever the objection is. So they've now given you objection, and they have this wall up, right? There's this wall. And the first thing you have to do, a lot of times when we hear an objection, the first thing we do is we go, well, I understand that, Mr. Customer, but, and then we do this. We do the whole big but thing, right? Well, well yeah, but Oracle's this and this and this and this. And, and then when you do that, this wall has never come down yet. So no matter what you're saying, it's just hitting this wall and it's never getting through. It's kind of like when I we used to joke about uh, my uh, son, Jack, he plays basketball. And when he gets taken out of a game, I said, Jack, when you get taken out and the coach starts yelling at you, don't ever go, yeah, coach, but. Because by the way, nobody hears anything, these ears, none, nothing, nobody hears anything after the word but. No way. Especially coaches in the heat of a game. Well, chances are neither does your customer. So one of the things you really need to do is the first thing we got to do is we got to get their guard down. Okay, so you want to be able to get this wall down here. Okay, let me move this. Get the wall down, and that way if, you can, if they say something to you like, hey, you know something, we're really pretty happy. Then you go, you know, we hear that a lot, we really do. Now let me stop. I don't want you to do this. Don't go, oh, I'm glad you're happy. No, we're not. I wish they weren't happy. Okay? I've always said if you're gonna be, uh, if you're gonna be honest, be really honest. And I mean like, hey, when they go, we're happy, go, I'm glad you're happy. Don't say I'm glad you're happy. I wish they were unhappy. So make sure if they go, I'm happy, you go, you know, some, we hear that a lot. Um, you know, it's not too many times that we call a client, they're like, oh my God, Oracle, great, so, so glad you called. Uh, it just doesn't happen often. So when they say we're happy, just go, you know, we get that. We know, we, mo we know that you probably have a solution that you're either using a vendor for or doing internally. So first off, hey, thanks for at least telling me you're happy. Um, hey, do you mind? And then I'll go to my next step. Whatever that next step is, there's a variety of different choices, but I can go through every one of these. You're too big. You know, we hear that often. We do. I mean, we're one of the largest companies in the world, and that's one of our biggest concerns is clients think we're too big. So if I were you, I'd probably say that too. When I'm doing that, the wall is going down. Look at the next one. Hey, you know something? We've had some challenges with you. You know, I, I, trust me, I, I love the company. I've been here for a while. When they first hired me, they said, hey, not everybody you're going to call is going to love us. And I completely get that. So, hey, one, maybe one of the first parts of my job is just to say, hey, listen, Thanks for telling me. At least I know where I'm actually starting with you. See, look at that. Everything I'm doing is getting the guard down. Not Well, Well, I know you're not happy, but, well, by the way, I know you're too big, but there's no buts here. So just remember, you know, I know you have a lot of reps calling. These are, whatever you do, just make sure you agree with them. Hey, I, you guys are way too expensive. You know, we hear that. I know it's, it's kind of funny. I can kind of jo joke tongue in cheek, Mr. Customer or Mrs. Customer. Uh, you know, I know there's nowhere on Oracle's website saying, hey, we're so cheap, we'll give you two for the price of one. I, I get that, but... Um, first off, thanks for at least telling me that. At least I kind of know. Look, everything I'm doing, I'm acknowledging and or agreeing. And if you do that, it gets their guard down and then you can go to that next step, okay? So just don't forget this one. This is a big one and I want to make sure I can help you guys with a quick little tip or technique that, um, that is at least going to let you go to that step two of now how to really get to the root of the challenge and once you find that out, now can we solve it? So anyway, good to see everybody from... Costigan Academy. I'm John Costigan. Good seeing everybody again. Take care.